Stephanie from Warrensburg, Missouri tweeted, I am a college senior and have played competitive softball most of my life. I recently tore my rotator cuff and I'm told it needs surgery. What exactly is involved in a rotator cuff repair surgery? And how long can I expect before I'm back on the pitcher's mound? Thank you, Stephanie, for asking the question. It's a great question. So the shoulder is a ball and socket kind of a joint, as you know, and the ball moves within the socket. The rotator cuff are like four muscles coming and attaching to the edge of that ball that moves the ball in the direction. When there's a rotator cuff tear, your rotator cuff is off of the bone. In the surgery, we put anchors with sutures coming out of those anchors and we tie those sutures to the muscle and cinch the muscle down onto the bone. That way we want to get that rotator cuff healed back to bone. The healing process usually takes around six weeks to three months. The first six weeks we immobilize the shoulder so that we can, we can have the best chance of healing. During the second six weeks our rehabilitation focuses on regaining the range of motion. After three months we start some strengthening exercises but these are usually not as sport specific strengthening exercises just to gain the tonus of the muscles back. At around six months or so we are going to be more doing the agilities and sports specific exercises and that is the time when you can get back to possibly throwing in six to eight months I would say depending on how your throwing mechanics and everything works out.